Good morning, birthday girls. This is Miss DJ. Today, I'll be reading you a story, and it's called Scooby-Doo Valentine's Day Surprise. Scooby and gang were excited to celebrate Valentine's Day. They sent Valentine's to all their friends and family. They couldn't wait to receive Valentine's in the mail, too. But when they opened the mailbox, they were sad to find it empty. Do you know where our mail is? Velma asked the mailman. The mailman was very confused. He scratched his head and thought for a minute. I'm not sure, he said. I have to retrace my steps. We'll help you, said Fred. Let's search for clues. But Scooby and Shaggy were scared. Like what if a ghost took our Valentine's, Valentine's asked Shaggy. Roast, said Scooby. Scooby jumped into a bush to hide. Come on, Scooby, Velma said. We need your help to find our Valentine's. Scooby shook his head and the bush shook too. Then he thought he smelled Scooby snacks. Scooby came out Scooby came out the bush to look for Sno Scooby snacks. We we would help we should ask the mailman to help us, said Velma. The mailman drove Scooby and the gang to Mr. Feldman's house. I dropped off a lot of Valentine's at this house, said the mailman. Then I was chased down the street by a dog. Do you remember what the dog looked like? Asked Daphne. She was wearing a red bow, said the mailman. Everyone looked for clues in Mr. Fred's yard. Feldman's yard. Scooby found something yummy. Velma picked up something small and red. It's, it is a bow. Asked Daffy. It is an empty candy wrapper, said Velma. I feel we're getting closer, said Fred. So, uh-oh. Now they're finding clues. Hopefully they find it. Scooby sniffed around the yard. He followed a trail of empty candy wrappers across the street to Mr. Peterson's fence. At the fence, he found some more candy and he ate it. But Scooby's eating all the candy he found. Scooby jumped over the fence to Mr. Peterson's house. He couldn't believe what he found. That was Mr. Peterson's dog, Rosie. Rosie had had their valent had their valentines valentine and all their candy. The gang always reveal or received valentines from their friends and family. Shaggy got a box of chocolates from her from his cousin Jennifer. Fred and Daffy received flowers and card from their friend Julia. Velma got stuffed teddy bear from their cousin Suzanne. But Scooby only got a card. Where is Scooby Snacks? See, they all got their gifts except for Scooby. He just got a card. Scooby Scooby searched through Rosie's pile of cards. He found a lot of cards and chocolates, but he didn't find the Scooby Snacks. But Rosie po poked her head around the tree and watched him. Then she barked to get Scooby's attention. So Scooby's looking through all the cards, looking for the Scooby snacks. And here's the other dog coming from behind the tree, trying to get his attention. Scooby turned around. Scooby turned around and saw Rosie's holding out a box of Scooby snacks just for him. It was Scooby's best Valentine's Day ever. Scooby dooby doo, barked Scooby. The end. I hope you liked the video. Bye.